So Google has updated its format in terms of how you're going to be able to get a particular document and save them on a specific folder and it is quite an upgrade but yes yeah, could be kind of a little bit of an interesting take on how you are going to be saving documents and so let's say for example here we have a Google form that is displayed on your screen right now and in here we want to save it of course you see the folder at the top left corner move to folder and once you load in and we see this here now you have categories here where you have either suggested to start or all locations now for start you can see that nothing is start at all on your google drive but when you're going to suggested here suggested folders to put this particular document or form in and so once you hover down you can see some options that are popping up here either you will pick in the option to move or in the three dots here there are more so i have full um, location then you can click on the drop down menu to see what's inside a particular folder that you want to save in now going back here we have the same thing on the other side which applies to everything here now in terms of select a location to show the photo path all comes down to the specific way by which you're going to be creating the folder so in this case here now it's now shown as creating the folder rather than suggesting or selecting a path to get it done so that is something to keep in mind when it comes to this in terms of suggestions as well if you click on a specific one you can see now that you can create a new folder by creating more path to that particular folder that you want your document to be in so really interesting to explore this here now looking on the stars there's nothing there but here is all locations that usually back before this update it used to come up as this before you go to more specific ways of saving and so i'm used to that style of saving stuff and the same thing applies to windows in terms of saving stuff from the general to more specific ones that you have so it's going to be interesting to see how this year is going to be a breakthrough in terms of how we see saving documents and organizing stuff and also maybe possible use of Google's AI in order for it is to suggest locations to save your document. This kind of saves you time sometimes but sometimes it could be a little bit of a detriment on how you are going to be able to navigate through this so please remember that the top menu here is the general categories and then you can go into what specific mode that you want it to go through i must say it is truly fascinating for google to actually have the categories to be set in a way that it is going from suggested to start and to all locations favoring more of its use of its potential AI that suggests what is the perfect way for you or where to save your document versus going to a little bit much more of something that you've actually created already going from start which is a little bit much more favorable and then less favorable is or least favorable is all locations so it's going to be interesting to see this tool here capitalize and hopefully i don't know whether there'll be more categories here that will be added for you to be able to see how it is much more structured is it going to be your own way to create your own categories here either in terms of your workplace or something more of personal stuff and so that is going to be interesting to see how these here tabs can be maybe added in the future or maybe drop down as time goes on because maybe google is known for starting a project and then neglecting it so for example here i'll prefer to go on my drive and once you click on the arrow you have all this here and you have the option already right there which is to quickly move over rather than having it somewhere at the bottom to move otherwise if you want to still move right away you can still go on and then you can just click on move right away and there we have it to the location that you want so because this here doesn't have 
the math category here so you got to create a new folder by clicking on this and then you can just type here math resources and so once you're done you hit create and now you have a space that is in my drive by that way you can hit a move and voila there we have it so i hope you found this really informative in terms of this new way of saving on google drive and i hope that this might change your opinion or maybe doesn't change your opinion on how it was before versus how it is right now go drop down to the comment section and let me know your thought about this otherwise hope to see you on the next one stay smart as always and believe in yourselves <laughs>